My name is Elia Msiapazi Zulu. I work at the African Institute for Development Policy. I'm the executive director there. Uh, the, uh, the institute seeks to promote use of research evidence in decision-making processes in Africa. So um, when I was invited to join the working group, uh, the Royal Society Working Group on Population, I was very, very excited about it because I think that we've, uh, uh, we are now at a juncture where big decisions need to be made about ensuring that there's a, a good equilibrium between you know, uh, people and the planet, they, that there's a, a, a good you know, uh, coexistence between the natural resources that the environment provides, which are finite, and uh, the people and other you know, um, uh, species that are living on the planet. So I've been part of this uh, working group uh, for the past, what, 22 months or so that we worked on the report. And I'm very, very happy to see the report come, you know, with the sort of uh, uh, evidence that we presented, uh, as well as the recommendations. And uh, what I like most about the report um, is that um, it, 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 it actually, you know, gives a very, very balanced view about what needs to be, to be done. Uh, the issue about uh, our population is very, very contentious. Uh, it polarizes, you know, a lot of people in the discipline and uh, experts and so on. But this report brought out the issue of consumption and population and emphasized that this, it's not about choosing or saying either this or that. It's really, it's, it's very, very critical that if we have to have that equilibrium between people and planet, there are two critical issues that we need to address. The first is uh, to reduce consumption, the excessively high levels of consumption in the, uh, in the, in the, in the West or in uh, developed countries. Um, and uh, the second key thing is that we need to support people who are you know, uh, living in poverty, the, 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 the 1.3 billion poorest people in the world to help them uplift their well-being, to increase their levels of consumption. These are the same people who are also having many children and contributing uh, most, are likely to contribute most to the growth uh, in, uh, in global population that we are likely to witness over the next century or so. And um, I think the, the important thing is that, uh, uh, that the report emphasizes is that most of these people are actually uh, not having many children simply because they want to have many children. Many of them want to have fewer children than they are having. Many of them want to have adequate spacing between births, but they are not able to do that. They are not able to manage their own fertility because they don't have access to family planning. So the report emphasizes this critical thing. Uh, family planning helps women to manage their fertility, but it also empowers women. Once a woman is able to control, manage her fertility, she's able to make many other decisions. She's able to be, to be more involved in, uh, in, uh, in economic activities and so on. So uh, for, for the least developed countries, the report emphasizes that we need to provide the means to these women to be able to manage their fertility, to be able to stop childbearing when they want to stop. And another critical thing that the report emphasizes is that it's not just about putting family planning on the table. It recognizes that a lot of uh, women, especially in most parts of Africa, a lot of girls actually get married at very, very young ages because they get out of school before they even, you know, um, are mature. So there are a lot of child um, marriages there, a lot of school uh, uh, sc uh, drop out from schools and so on. So the report emphasizes that in those countries, in these least developed countries, there's need to invest in education, focusing on girls, empowerment of women, and making sure that we provide the family planning that women are crying out for there in order for them to, to have the number uh, of children that they would want to have and at, 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 at the appropriate time when they want to have those children.